Hi everyone, welcome to my page. We are you getting ready for the holidays? I am, so let's get our makeup going. With mature skin, let's keep it simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. So what I'm gonna use today is my Saint for palette, which is four shades that, that make up my um, my foundation, my contour shade, my brightening highlight, my main highlight, and my lip and cheek today is Ever Red. Ever Red goes away December 17th. So if you want her, she's a pretty Christmas red, as you'll see in a minute, grab her before the 17th because then she's limited edition and she is a keeper. I'm also going to use my 3D brush, my very favorite brush from Saint to do the blending. Now let's get started. Contour is a, a dark shade, a cool shade, and it goes on the hard parts of your face like your forehead up close to your hairline and we're just going to continue I have a clip let's get these bangs out of the way oh that didn't help okay let's get these bangs out of the way there we go okay it goes on the hard parts of your face and up close to the hairline. That's where your contour goes. It's a scary, scary shade because it's darker than anything you've ever put on your face before, but believe me, it's wonderful. The other hard place is gonna be feel for the cheekbone. You can feel that round bone. You wanna start at the corner of your eye and go up towards the top of your ear. There we go. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad you joined me today live. You just blessed me with your presence. And then feel on the other side for the roundness of the cheekbone. And then right about the corner of the eye up towards the ear. There you go. Now, does it have to be exact and like even on both sides? No, because we're going to blend, but we're going to blend strategically. We're placing our makeup strategically, so we're going to blend strategically. Now, see how I have a jowl right here? I'm going to start right past the fatty part and go up towards the bottom part of my ear. Over here, the fatty part, I'm going to start right along the jawbone and go up towards the ear. There we go. Now, since I have jowls, I am going to, I have these divots. So I'm going to connect these divots under my neck with my contour shade. Why? Because it created a shadow and it hides this turkey neck that I have. If you have a double chin, it's like once you get to my age of 67 or maybe a little before, you either have a turkey neck or you're going to have a double chin. The double chin, you start a little further back on the jaw and come further down under the neck. That's going to create a shadow with your contour and it's going to make it less noticeable. We want, what we do with Saint is we want to, to bring forward the parts you want people to see on your face and then move back the parts we don't want you to see. All right, so now we're going to contour our nose, my nose. So we're going to put a little bit of contour on my pinky. See, I have just a little bit on each one. I'm going to put them at the bridge of my nose or right at the beginning of my nose where they touch and then just drag them down. There we go. Whatever's left, I'm just going to stick on the ball of my nose. There we go. Now, it looks ridiculous now and you're like, why did she do that? You're going to see in just a second. We're finished with our contour. You can use contour to fill in your brows. You can also use contour as an eyeshadow to line your lips. Again, there's numerous things you can use your contour shade for. The next shade we're gonna do is a highlight. It's a brightening highlight that works like a concealer. So I'm gonna go right up in between my eyebrows in the uh, center of my forehead. Then I'm going to use my pinky and I'm going to drag this brightening highlight right down the center of my nose. Now, see what it did. Look how much narrower and elongated my nose looks. If your nose bothers you and it is a feature or a distraction that you're not crazy about, contour can help you. Contouring your nose can help you love the nose again. 
Now, we're going to continue to place. Notice I'm placing my makeup with my finger. You can use a brush. I use my finger because I can better control how much I use. With cream makeup, less is more. You want to use less. That's totally out of what they they teach us, like with the liquids and the powders. They want you to keep just, okay, you need, that doesn't look like you wanted to, add some more. Not with Saint. We're going to have one layer of makeup because we're strategically placing these shades and then we're going to strategically blend them to where each shade stays where it's supposed to be, but there's no harsh lines like what you see now. All right, continuing with the concealer or brightening highlight as we call it, we're going to come to these eyes. Eyes are tricky when you're 67. So what we're going to do is use just a little bit of product and we're only going to go to the inner corner and the outer corner. We're not going to go all the way under the eye. We will do that when we blend, but we're going to get the least amount of product under there because I have crepe skin. So I can just imagine... Um, if you put a whole lot under there, you did the pie shape or the V shape, it would really say, hey, look at all this crepe skin. So less is more under the eyes, especially over 60. Now, I'm done with my brightener. We're going to move to my main shade. This is the shade that is going to be the closest to the color of your skin. Now, Will your shades be the same as mine? No, because these were custom color matched to me. I would love to custom color match you to the shades that would be the best for you, for your complexion, and make you look the best you can be. Here we go. Now I'm going to come and just catch the corners of my nose because I have rosacea and I, you know, I, my nose is always red. Let's just put it that way. Now, this gives you the, a better understanding of what this is. You have your, your contour shade, then you have your main shade, then you have your brightener. Each color has its place where it goes. Again, we strategically placed it. And now you can blend. I like to blend it all at one time. This is ever red. Again, ever red leaves on the 17th. Hmm. But look what a pretty Christmas red she is. You could actually wear ever red year round. I did. Also, when you're applying your lipstick or your lip and cheek, as we call it, don't go all the way to the corner of your mouth, especially if you have cracks like I do above the lip and to the corners. Stop it before you get to the corner because that will bring your smile up. If you go all the way, you're going to look like the Joker and your friend, you know, your smile's going to go down. We don't want that. Now, this is a lip and cheek. She is a gloss. And so we are going to just add her up here as our blush. There we go. So pretty, so easy. Here we go. All right, I'm done. Everything on my face was in this one palette. And now I'm going to pick up my 3D brush and we're going to blend. Cream makeup needs to be set, and you can do it in one of two ways. You can use setting powder, which is vanilla dust from Saint, or you can use a setting spray. I like Saint setting spray, and I like to blend with a damp brush. To me, it just makes everything go where it needs to go and stay, and I'm doing one step all in one, or two steps all in one. So I'm going to spray my brush with the Saint setting spray and tap it into my hand just to keep it from being like wet wet now we're going to strategically blend and we're going to start right at the jawline and just gently while i'm barely touching my my jaw drag it down the neck this is the only time you want to blend down again we're just going to give a soft blend and since we have camouflaged my turkey neck we want the shadow to stay but we don't want these distinct lines like are here here we go now 
we're done there. Let's move to just above the jawline to where my main shade is. This is called stippling. Stippling is gently tapping this makeup into your skin so that it wears as a second skin. There we go. Now, notice how I am not dragging my brush. I'm not swiping my brush. I am just tapping, but keeping it moving. See how this has just become a part of my skin. The makeup has. It doesn't sit on top of your skin. It like becomes a part of your skin. That's why it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles like liquids and powders do. Now, we took the time to contour the nose. So we want to be very careful when we blend just a few taps because if you blend too much, you'll blend it out and then all that contouring and brightening you did will be gone. So again, we just want to do some little taps just to tap it into the skin. Now, our contour shade is a little bit uh, uh, different of a consistency. So we're going to actually circle up here again, like we did along the jawline. Again, not hard or heavy, just gentle. And marry these ends together. Okay, I got hair that doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. All righty, there you go. See how you can still see the shadow, but it doesn't look like this distinct line that I have on my cheeks. That's what you want. You're creating a shadow. You want the shadow to stay there. You don't want to blend it out. If you blend too much, you're, it's going to blend out. Now, we're going to double tap along the cheek on the contour, then grab that contour and just stipple up into the temple. Same thing over here. Just a soft blend is what you're looking for. And again, you used less makeup than you normally would because less is more with cream. There you go. We're done. We are done. The only thing I'm going to add, and heaven forbid I do this on camera, but we're going to do it, is we are going to add some mascara, and I will be good to go. Now, I use, I cover the back side of my lashes first, or top side, whichever way you want to look at it, and then come back and actually apply. Is this the correct way? I don't know. This is how I learned to do it back in 1968 when I first started wearing mascara, and it's worked for me since, so this is what I do. There we go. I uh, Also, if you're going to spend money on your cosmetics, mascara is not the one you need to spend it on. I love this. It's $4.99 with Amazon, and it's Lash Princess. There we go. It comes in waterproof and several others. I don't sell this, but I do have a link to it that'll get you right there. So just comment Lash if you want the link to um, to this mascara. But again, it's on Amazon. It's Lash Princess, and I use the smudge proof. I also use the waterproof from time to time. All right, there we go, ladies. We are done. All of my makeup is finished. What more can I say? How do you get started with Saint? That is so simple. You send me a makeup free, yes, makeup free uh, selfie. Go to a window in your home. I would prefer not in the car. When you're in the car, you get a shadow sometimes on one side. Go to a window in your house. Let the natural light come in. Not sunlight, just natural light. Natural light come, comes in, hits your makeup free face. Get your face, your neck, and part of your decollete if you can. Then just look straight into your phone and shoot a selfie. I'll have the number right here on the screen or in the copy, wherever the copy is. We're Instagram, so it'll be down here to request the link. You upload your selfie and I'll do the rest. The color match is totally free with no obligation to buy. It can't get any simpler. Again, I'm 67 years old. I love this cream makeup. I wish I had found it sooner. It has all sorts of accessories to go with it, which I'll recommend. And again, if you buy, thank you. If you don't, keep hanging out with me and let's do some makeup.
Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you supporting me. You be 